Number 58. The rate constant at 325 degrees Celsius for the decomposition reaction of C4H8, which will yield two C2H4s, is 6.1 times 10 to the 8th per second. And the activation energy is 261 kilojoules per mole of the C4H8. Determine the frequency factor of the reaction. Okie dokie. All right, so they've given us a lot of information here. We have a temperature, 325 degrees Celsius. They said that the rate constant at this information is 6.1 times 10 to the negative eighth. So we know that the rate constant is 6.1 times 10 to the eighth per second. And they also gave us the activation energy, right? Now, specifically here, they want us to find the frequency factor. Now, anytime that you're solving for a frequency factor, frequency factor is capital A. A for A plus. That's what you're going to get on your next test or quiz if you use our videos. Um, shameless plug, I guess. But hey, I mean, we've been getting a lot of comments saying, you know, thank you so much. So I guess it's working. But anyway, um, so frequency factor is always capital A. Now, a frequency factor just talks about basically the frequency of how many collisions there are going on in this scenario, right? But when we talk about frequency factor, capital A, there's really only one formula that you have to worry about that has frequency factor in it, and that's the Arrhenius formula, and that's this right here. Love this formula, right? It's, it's pretty, pretty simple once we get down into it, but it's got all of the variables. Now let's start from left to right. Now, the Arrhenius formula is specifically set up for lowercase k, and that is the rate constant. So, did they give us the rate constant? Yes, they did. We know that this is 6.1 times 10 to the negative eighth um, per second. 10 to the negative eighth, and we'll say seconds to the minus one. I like to put SEC, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. Capital A, there it is. That's the frequency factor. And just know that when you're using this equation, your K and A units are the same. So whatever the K units are, that's what's gonna be the A units. Okay, now this E, this is the E that's on your calculator. It's not a variable, it's the E button on the calculator. So on calc E. And now it's E raised to this thing going on here, negative EA divided by R times T. So EA is your activation energy. Did they give us that? Yes, they did. They said that the activation energy was 261 uh, kilojoules. So I'll just put that there. Now the R value is a constant value. We've probably seen this from time to time, right? The R value is a constant number. The R value used here is the one that has to do with the energy, not pressure. So that's the 8.314 joules per mole times Kelvin. And then the temperature, if you're using this formula, temp has to be in Kelvin. But they gave us 325 degrees Celsius. So the first thing I have to do is I'm just going to convert the Celsius to Kelvin. So you could always plus 273, or if you want to be a little bit more specific, you could plus 273.15. So maybe that's what I'll do. 325, right? 325? Yeah, 325 plus 273.15. Looks good to me. So we get 598.15. Now, the K units look good. The A units, the frequency factor, whatever these two units are, they're going to be the same. But now just pay attention because the R value units are in joules. And when I look at my activation energy, uh-oh, they gave it to me in kilojoules. So when you're using this formula, it's just easier to convert from kilojoules to joules because those joule values got to match. And from kilojoules to joules, you just times by a thousand, right? Similarly, take the decimal, move it to the right three spots. So this would be 200 and 61,000, three zeros there. Now we have everything ready to go. 
let's plug in the formula. So from left to right, we got 6.1. And maybe I'll start in the middle, and then if I need to, I will you know, go to the left or to the right, depending on how much room I have. 6.1 times 10 to the negative eighth. And this will equal our A value. And then it's going to be E raised to the negative. The negative is in the formula. We have our EA value of 261,000 times by those two values, right? So we have 8.314. And then the temperature is, what did we say, 598? 598.15. Okay. Let me just make this a little bit cleaner. Okay. So what I would do first is I would get this value to being one single value. So I can do that all um, in one shot on the calculator, which I'll show you here. So we're just going to say this is 6.1 times 10 to the negative eighth equals the a value and then now it's just going to be e raised to whatever this simplified is so i'm going to say negative 261000 divided by 8.314 and since i'm not using parentheses i'm going to press divide again if you are doing this in a couple of different ways you can multiply these two numbers together and then do your division um, you could put these two in parentheses, so it'd be like parentheses 8.314 times that, close the parentheses, but I just like to, I don't really like to use parentheses if I don't have to, so I'll just do the division. So 598, or actually what I'll do, just to less error, there we go. I'm just going to double check, 261, that looks good, 8.314, 598, okay, and there we go. So now the E value is raised to this whole number, negative 52.483, et cetera, et cetera. So the next thing is to actually do that value on the calcy. So we have 6.1 times 10 to the negative eighth equals the a value, and now that a value is going to be multiplied by whatever that is simplified. So we're going to say, let's see, second ln, that's the e button, I'm going to bring this whole thing, press enter, okay. So we get 1.610 times 10 to the negative 23rd. Okay, we're almost there. Now we got to do is just get a by itself, so divide by that number on both sides. 1.610 times 10 to the negative 23rd. 1.610 times 10 to the negative 23rd. This will cancel this out, which is beautiful. And then we have 6.1 times 10 to the negative eighth divided by this whole number. And then press enter. Yay! Your frequency factor should be a pretty large value because it's just talking about the frequency of collisions going on in there. So there's a lot of collisions because there's a lot of molecules in there. So three point, I guess we'll say 3.8 times 10 to the 15th. And just know that the A and the K units are the same. So since the K value was per second, this is also going to be per second. So, you know, collisions per second, frequency per second. But there you go. Okay, so let's Highlight, and then we are done. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Color, color, color. Beautiful. And that's it. What would you think? I hope this helped. Thank you for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I hope to talk to you soon. Keep studying hard. Always keep learning. And I'll talk to you in a little bit, okay? All right. Bye-bye.